Hello and welcome to the, me, Steve Fallagher, The Big Shave. It's the 22nd of July 2013. Uh, a couple of things to say. First of all, uh, it's now three years since the shaving video started in 2010. So and we're well into our 100 and about 150, I think. Um, it's two years since the, sh the Facebook group was started. And we're up to about 925, 927 members. Uh, it's grown fantastically, particularly in the last couple of months, although there was a little bit of uh, people spitting the dummies out and leaving, but never mind, you know, that sort of thing happens, doesn't it? Uh, today, we're on number four, really. We're talking about old razors. We're talking about vintage razors. We're talking not necessarily about antique razors. And we're looking today, we're not looking at um, razors of um, various styles. We're actually looking at ones that use the um, Gillette blades. So... Some of these are from the 30s, some of the 40s, 50s. So we're, I'm going to go through them in no particular order. But as I'm, as I'm going through, I'm going, to, I'm going to basically talk a little bit about what to look out for. Uh, there's nothing to stop you buying razors to look at. That's, that's, you know, that goes without saying. If you want to just look at things, you want to look at the styling of them. Because the styling of razors um, reflects the age of them. So you've got things like ones with plastic handles in the 60s, 70s. So, you know, the, the age of plastic and then You've got stuff from the, probably the 20s and 30s, which is brass. And, you know, various ones have various merits. Um, okay, we'll start with this one. This is this is an old... I think it's an old Gillette. Can I, it's not stamped, so it might not be an old Gillette, but it looks like it's a Gillette. And this is this is probably one of the worst razors we've got condition-wise. It's an open comb, which means it's got a comb on one edge. It's pretty battered on the top. I'm not sure whether this is chrome brass or brass chrome, it's hard to say. It's got a brass body um, and a lot of the teeth are bent. So in reality, I would probably not use this unless I spent some time bending. The teeth back, you can see, they're not level. They're not equally apart. So that, that's, a, that's a shaved end razor just, just to look at. So move on. This is a, a slightly different razor. Uh, again, it's open comb. Uh, the combs, again, a little bit bent, a little bit pitted, no name on it, a bit lighter, probably not worth trying with that one. Again, it's a, it's a shaved end razor for looking at, just to give you an idea of the different types of razors. Um, and then, now this one, this one I probably would use, this this is a Paragon, I think, or is it? No, it's not. But it's a lot more heavy, it's still still similar. Similar shape. There's there's a lot of lot of lost lost a lot of its chroming on the top, but you can see the teeth are in fairly good order. Uh, it's quite heavy, so I know that's probably going to give you. So I I probably shave with that. Um, it's th these things are cheap. These things we got for a pound or two on car boot sale. So that you know just by not using them, it's not it's not a waste of money. Now we get onto something that's a little bit more decent again, but in open comb territory. And this is a Paragon, made in England, probably 40s, 1940s, 1930s. It's got a nice, nice design on the handle. You can see it's chromes in, in reasonably good condition. I have shaved with this and you do get a decent shave. Now the things that really you do want to think about shaving with, because they, they very rarely go wrong, they very rarely fall to bits or loosen up. And that's obviously Gillette razors, and we're going to go through these again in no particular order. This is a flare tip, and it's a butterfly twist to open. Again, you can see the mechanism's quite tight, it's quite clean inside. It's probably, probably the best flare tip I've got condition wise. I've got a couple of ratty ones. Get a good shave, not, not, not too aggressive flare tips. Uh, not being aggressive doesn't mean it's, they're not technical razors. Now, uh, okay, I'm not sure which one this is. Is this? That's not an ambassador, I don't think. Anyway, it's a uh, again, it's another twist to open. It's heavy. With all Gillettes, there are some numbers inside, inside the the head, which tell you which year they were made in. It also tells you what course in that year, so you can actually, you can actually um, age them quite accurately. Also, the type of box that they're in, they're in Bakelite. You know, they're usually older than the ones that aren't in bacon light. Uh, and we've got this razor, which is the one we might be shaving with today. This is an ambassador, which I got from a, 
uh, an antique shop for four pounds in a box. Very nice razor, very heavy. Got a great shave off it. It's uh, open comb. It's quite an old design, but I think it's only from the 1950s or 60s. Box is anything to go by. And the last two we're going to look. The last thing we're going to look at is this is a chic razor, plastic handled, probably from the 1960s. And this is a similar looking Gillette razor. These are all shavable by the way, I've, I've actually shaved with all of these and they all give different types of shaves. And the final one, and this is the one people like to go for because of its uh, flexibility, is a Gillette Fat Boy. Uh, got a, an adjusting system of one to nine, a bit like the Make a Future. You twist it and the gap. The head actually, you can see, just that bit there gets wider as I wider or narrower. A heavy razor. Small head, very manoeuvrable, and I think we're going to get a shave with this today. I'll set on that. Let me wind it back up and open it up. So that's that's razors, that's antique and vintage razors. Uh, some are for looking at, some are for using. The great thing about razors, if you get a decent example of even a very old razor, you can shave with it, and uh, it gives you some sort of um, link, I think, with the people who've shaved it over those years. I think some of these older ones are a bit like this. So you've got to imagine how many people have used this and where it's been. Could have been to war, you know, could have been anywhere really. It does look like it's from the First World War. Uh, okay, so we're going to shave uh, and we're going to talk about maybe the differences between shaving with a razor like this and shaving with a modern razor. And first off, we're going to we're going to wet the face. Put the glasses up. I've already pre-larded some arco, nice fluffy arco. And we're going to go round. And we've got an Astro Blade in. We're going to finish off with Arco Cologne. And then we're going to uh, finish off with Arco Cream. So we're going to use the three pass method. Now, even, even on number nine, it's nowhere near as aggressive as the Maker. I always thought with this being a, a, um, an adjustable razor, the, the far adjustment, the nine adjustment would be quite aggressive but it's not it's just it's acceptable really you find that the old Gillettes are fairly fairly mild but um, that that doesn't mean they don't give you a good shave that just means that you have to be a bit more technical in your shaving technique you have to be a bit more um, skillful using the, the advantages of the razor I need a small head and the, uh, the good angle of the blade. So we're going on the second pass, this time we're going across the growth, which means going down my cheeks, across the jawline. And then up. Just get a little bit more off there before we move on. And then finally, the third pass. So how much should you pay for a, a razor? Well, anything from a pound if you're in Britain and car boot sales and even on, on eBay the older battered razors are still cheap um, but fat boys and some of the, the gelato people are going for a ridiculous price total 50, 60, 70 pounds uh, well, should you pay that for them? Um, that's not for me to say really it's for you to to ask your ask yourself whether you're missing out on something by not having one now that that's, that is a fantastic shave. Uh, the great thing about the, the Gillette is they're very they're very manoeuvrable, so you can whiz around your face really quickly. So if there's anything that's a bit rough, you can just pick it up. Um, don't shave enough really with the old Gillettes. I should uh, I should shave a little bit more, especially with the aristocrats and this, the uh, flare tip in this. But there you go. You can sort of see there's no roughness when I rub it. Uh, so don't pay too much unless you're, unless you're a secret millionaire. Um, if you do buy them, use them. Don't don't just leave them sitting on the shelf. Put uh, put them to good use because they deserve it. Right. So we're putting some Arco Arco Aqua Aqua Cologne on. And sealing off all the all the. Uh, Nicky's 
No, I haven't done the chain very well, so I'm gonna just gonna pick up the chain. And then uh, up to the beard. There we go. And that's it's much better. Okay. Uh, and then finally once the <coughs> once the colognes have evaporated, there's a few small spots. And I I mean small spots of uh Marco cream in all the areas we get a bit of uh, irritation. So, nearly done. Rub it in, put it as hard as you can. And then we're nearly finished. So, good results. If you do buy an old razor, make sure that you use it, make sure you keep it, keep it in good form. Make sure you clean it before you get it, of course. Uh, I tend to use uh, stuff like Arco, using the alcohol and Arco, and uh, maybe a bit of uh, toothpaste that's got um, bicarbonate of soda. Give it a little rub, rub with that. Don't use bleach on your razors; it will kill your razor dead, stone dead. And um, any questions about old razors, just email me below. Anybody who wants to use the uh, join the Facebook group, then be feel free to go there. And anybody who wants to buy anything from the, uh, the eBay shop, then look there. So old razors, great to have, great to hold, great to look at. And some of them are even greater to shave with. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, I've been Steve Farragher from Liverpool in the UK. This has been The Big Shave. Uh, keep watching. Keep shaving.